Hello, friends. Today I have something very special for you. I have a new pet, a small colony of Ecophila smaragdina, also known as Weber's ant. In the course of the video, we will build a new home for the little colony. It is an open plant that is in my room. You can also become part of the video, but more about that later. Stay tuned to learn more about these amazing creatures and how they will move into their new home. I would say we start at the beginning. Unboxing. It all began with an unassuming package. Let's unpack the package and take a first look at our new roommates. These are the little girls. Let's take a closer look. The first one I notice is our beautiful green queen. She is the heart of the colony. Our little workers also seem to be doing well at first glance. They look healthy and happy. Look at them moving around and communicating with each other. They even have a small larvae, which is a very good sign. Now you are asked, do you have an idea how we should name our new inhabitants? The three best suggestions you write in the comments will be put to a vote. The one with the most votes at the end of the poll will be the winner and our colony will get its new name. I am very curious. Here are the most important facts about the ant species. The ant species is called Echophila smaragdina. They are widespread in Asia. The queen can reach a size of 16 to 18 millimeters. The workers are of course slightly smaller and are around 8 to 12 millimeters in size. The colony size can grow to hundreds of thousands of animals. Since the species comes from tropical climates, it should be kept quite warm, ideally at 24 to 28 degrees Celsius. You should also pay attention to the humidity. It would be perfect here if the humidity is around 60 to 70 percent. Small insects such as small crickets or cockroaches are on your menu. Carbohydrates are also very important. You can feed them sugar water or liquid honey, for example. Now it's time to build a new home for our little ones. We don't want them to stay in a test tube any longer. The home. We need a plant, water, a large bowl and a small bowl. The structure is very simple. The large tray goes at the bottom. It's supposed to be the catch basin for the water. Then comes the small bowl, where our plant will later stand, so that it doesn't get waterlogged. Now put the water in it to create the moat, so that our ants can't escape so quickly. Almost finished. There it is, the new home for our ants. I had the idea of putting some moss and leaves on the floor to make it as natural as possible. I was still bothered by this cable hanging down, so I made short work of it. I still had cable pictures, and fixed the cable to the edge so that it was no longer in the way. The Grand Entry Now it's time to release the little ones into their new realm. As a last step, I placed a cable tie on the plant so that the test tube sits securely in the plant and doesn't fall off. Now the time has finally come. The colony is in place and our journey can begin. I offered him a drop of honey as a welcome gift and sprayed the plant with water again. One last look to see if everything is okay and we can open the gate. I was very excited to see what would happen now. You too? Hey you! If you've enjoyed the video so far, please leave me a subscription, like or comment. I put a lot of love and time into this and didn't forget to think of a name for us. Thank you! Weaver ants are incredibly social insects. Each ant has a specific task be it collecting food, discovering new paths, caring for the brood, or defending the nest. We will be able to observe all of this over time. They seem to have survived the move well, and the first workers are already on their way to explore new territory. 
They are probably also looking for a new nesting area. I chose the plant they are now living in for a reason. It is a Schefflera arboricola. The plant is ideal as it has soft leaves to bend and is perfect for the little ones to build on. The weaver ants are known for building large nests in the trees and only very rarely go to the ground, which is what makes them so interesting. I hope you like my little new project. Next time we will be able to see how the little ones start to build their new nest. If you don't want to miss anything and you're fascinated by the topic like I am, then please leave me a subscription, like or comment. I would be very happy and don't forget to think of a name for the colony. Thanks for watching. Bye.